So you chose to use feature counts to count the number of reads per gene. So we will launch feature counts on the mapped BAM. So we first need to put the alignment files, so the BAM files, and they are tidied into a collection. So you click on collection, and then you automatically have the BAM file which are selected. Specify the strand information, and we know now that it's unstranded. For the gene annotation file, it's in the history. So we just select a GFF GTF in your history. And here we select the Drosophila GTF. The feature that we will use in the GTF is the exam. So we will count only reads that fall into the exons, not the one that fall into introns. And we will use the gene ID as a gene identifier. The output format is indeed the output that is compatible with DSEC2, which is the tool we, will, we are going to use. And we want to create a gene length file. This is for downstream analysis. Does the input have read pairs? Yes. And we would like to count them as a single fragment. This is what is done also by STAR. And we don't check the paired and distance. This is one of the parameters that you could specify to have a more customized analysis. And we will uh, filter for a minimum quality of 10. Um, I think that's all I just check. So we specified, yes, the minimum quality of 10. So we can run it. So it generates three outputs. One is a length of each gene. One is a summary, some, some statistics. And then it's the wheel file that we will use downstream. It's the counts. And similarly to what we have done with the star counts, we can aggregate all the summaries using multi-QC. So we just select multi-QC. And the tool that we used is feature counts. And the output is feature counts is in a collection. So we click collection. And then it's the summary. And we run the tool. So this tool is slightly slow. So I pause the video and I come back when it's done. Feature count has finished. It was much faster than what I had in mind. And um, so we can check the output. So the feature length, if I click, I generated one per data set. And if I, which should be identical. Um, I click on the eye and I will, what I will see is that it's a table um, which should be displayed with two columns. One is the gene ID and the other one is the length. So I come back to the history and the other one was the summary which we will aggregate into the multi-QC. And here we have the counts. And if I check it, The preview is a bit slow today. Uh, we can see that we have on the first column, the gene IDs, on the second column, the number of counts. And uh, we need to keep in mind that we have a header, which would be gene ID, and then the name of the sample. Great, so now MultiQC has finished also. We can check the web page, clicking on the I, and we can see that the number of reads that have been assigned is about uh, 60 patterns. And uh, the reads that were not assigned are mainly because they are multi-mapping. So we have 24% of reads that are multi-mapped. So now uh, we will be able to join uh, the people that chose the STAR tutorial.